Okay, we have our quick integral today. This one's from MIT 2017, number 12. We have the integral from zero to one. One over square root x times one minus x dx. Okay, to get started with this, really what I wanna do is just kind of break this up. For this square root, we can separate this as square root of x times square root one minus x. But actually what I wanna do is I'm gonna use this notation instead. I'm gonna write it as one half powers for each of these. And then let's just rewrite this integral, but let's take this and bring it into the numerator. So everything that's gonna become a minus one half power, so we're still going zero to one. This becomes x minus one half times one minus x minus one half. And then from here, what I wanna notice is this is basically perfectly set up for us to use the beta function. I'm gonna do one little thing to get it to match the formula you see. For minus one half, I can write this as one half minus one, and I can do the exact same thing over over here and so that way our input for the beta function is going to be just the one half here and now we can just kind of use the formula so doing this what's going to happen is we're going to get for this first part gamma of one half for the second part same thing gamma of one half and then the denominator we get the sum of the two so just gamma of one half plus one half or just gamma of one for gamma of one, we can use this definition. Gamma of n is gonna be the same thing as n minus one factorial. So then this right here, we could see this as zero factorial, which is just one. And so what we can do is just cancel this off right here. Don't have to worry about that. And then what I like to do is kind of memorize a value for gamma of one half. This is gonna be the same thing as just square root of pi. So since we're multiplying it together, what we're gonna end up with here is just square root of pi times square root of pi or square root of pi squared. And so for my solution to this, we just get pi. So there you go, a really quick and easy one with the beta function. You kind of just do this in your head if you can just rearrange it and see that it's gonna be one half and one half and gamma of one in the denominator. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a good day.